Hello, so this video I show you how to create the B-Ray eye shader, a very quick one. So the first thing we do, we do a project window. We do a new project. And then we browse to our location here. I'll just grab my location. And then I'll create an A3 eye project. Press accept. Okay. This will uh, give us uh, this folder over here with all the settings that we want to have. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to copy my eye texture in as well so that later I can use it. Let's put it inside source images and there we go. So this is inside the source images directory. Alright, so first thing, do, do a spear put a sphere in the scene create a sphere and then uh, we are going to just rotate it to 90 degrees so go to your edge view editor and round it off to 90 degrees right here press space and look for the front view over here go into the front view which we are using the front view and when we do a UV planar with options UV plane with options and then uh, you're just gonna reset the settings and then change it to camera projection. So what this does is uh, project the uh, UV in uh, this view for the camera so our texture will go in the right direction facing the front view. So go ahead and press project and then uh, maybe bef before I just press project I want to open up the UV editor as well so that you can see the difference. So this is the default UV for the uh, our eye for our sphere over here which is for our eye and then what this does is that uh, I'm just gonna click this one so that uh, just have a look at all these UVs so so this is how the eye looks like when it's uh, when you essentially unwrap the UV so this is a process we use to apply the texture to the 3D object and think of it as a skin that you apply on top of the uh, model that you have so in this case it's the eye okay so we project this way and then this will show us that now the UV is uh, in a logical manner and uh, you can see how it reacts to the uh, to the object as well okay so that's good for now so we press space and we go back to uh, our perspective mill and uh, maybe we just want to keep our scene open and then uh, maybe before we close this UV window we just want to go to maybe uh, we just want to have a look at this okay never mind I'll do that later so Now we have this UV out, we hold down right click and you press assign new material. So we create a new material for this guy. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna go into my plugin manager to make sure I have my V-Ray setting on. So uh, you go into your plugin manager to make sure that you have the video setting on. So it will take a while to load. But the plugin manager is the place that you can make sure all your plugins are in the right place. Okay, so make sure you use V-Ray and make sure it's on. And now if we go to do hypershade, we'll be able to have all the V-Ray materials. Okay, so let's say we just grab a uh, Ray. Let me do that again. V-Ray MTL. Okay. And I'm just going to name this my material as an I-V-Ray material. Okay. So I'm going to apply my I-V-Ray material into my object. Uh, but before that, I'm just going to go to 
my diffuse color, which is my RGB color, and I would choose a choose to put a RAM here. So RAM over here. Okay, let me do that do that one more time. If I click it fast, you uh okay, do that one more time. RAM. Okay. RAM is over here. So just, just make sure you put RAM in there. And this will apply the gradient on top of your our eyes and then I'll just gonna use a circular one. So it starts on the eye center and everything's gonna make sense. So maybe I'll just put the bit like this for now and then I'll just apply the texture in. So assign assisting material, assign it to the eye texture that we have. And then uh, Press uh, number six to activate the uh, texture mode, so that we can look at the colors. So make sure you press number six on your keyboard, and then uh, now you can see that the RAM is working for us. We have a black and white color, and now maybe we can just play around a bit more. Maybe uh, let's say I want to change this to blue. Can do that. You want to add another color, go ahead and press it here. And I can maybe add a bit of orange in the center. A bit darker, maybe. Okay, maybe a bit of white is fine. Maybe I want the, the other corner, I want it to be more red. So, just gonna add another color behind. Reddish over here, like this. Alright. So this can work pretty well. Here. And you can tell our eye is being uh, double sided right now, which is a bit weird. But other than that, it actually looks pretty good, pretty decent. So, how do we fix this? Okay, we go into our side view. Side view. Let me just take a screenshot for, uh, for my OA PDF. Go to my site view again. Okay. And I'm just gonna select face mode. And I'll just do a selection like this. So I have half of the model selected off my uh, soft selection. So just half of it. And what we're gonna do is we are just gonna go into a UV editor. With the selection still on, I'm gonna press create UV shell. Okay, so what this does is this will create uh, another shell and then I'll separate all these faces into another island, UV island. So you might not see a difference, but now once I click it, I can move it out. Okay, so it's giving telling me that I have two sides, a positive side and a negative side, so I can move it out like here like this. And you can tell that how this works perfectly. And then what we're gonna do is we are just gonna scale this now and put this behind here, and it's okay because our main texture is the one in the front. Okay, and then the one behind we'll just put it behind there. So if you right-click in a uh, UV editor, you can select shell. So one shell, is the one in front, and the second shell is the one behind. Okay, so what you guys do kind of know what's going on here so have, have a feel for it well, not too difficult but uh, you might not get used to it but it's essentially it's just a quick way to make this into a new shell okay and uh, the normally another way is to just uh, select the edge here and then you do a UV cut over here and this could work as well it's the same met different methods to go ahead and get the same result essentially but I think that this method is a bit faster so uh, so you can just create a new shell and move it out to the side okay if not you can just do it another way you cut the edges and then you move it out as well it works the same way okay so now I'm gonna press space I'm gonna go move out and I'm gonna look at my eye again and you, you can see that now it works better so what is happening okay so because uh, we actually move the UV behind here 
so this will be the and uh, based on our texture you know, if you look at our texture what if you can look at the texture here can we look at the texture uh, it's okay and let's just go back to our hyper shade to look at it so if you look at our ram shader okay just look at this ram shader here and you can see that the uh, our object has uh, is uh, located in this corner here on this ram shader so it's applying the back area on this red part here which is how it comes up with this result so, so all these uh, UVs is in the red area now. That's how it's making its color. So if I were to move this here, yeah, you know, the color might change a little bit. Yeah, see it changes. So it's gonna look weird if I move it just to the center like this because right now the UV is at the center part of the RAM. So the RAM shader is determining the colors and I'm moving the UVs and it's changing the colors all over the place okay so just keep it at the side of the RAM shader of the texture which is uh, we are using the RAM shader now and the RAM shader at the corner now I've set it to red color so it works like this okay so I think that was well another method I'm just gonna duplicate this and move this to the right so this is a uh, eye with a uh, RAM shader another method is using uh, texture. So I'm just gonna assign a new material, V-Ray MTL again. Rename this as I Texture V-Ray. All right. So you know that it's a I Texture one. So you can already tell I have two different materials for all this. Okay. So in this I Texture V-Ray, I'm gonna assign a file. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use a file and from internet. I'm gonna source for a free texture to use for our eyes so you as every time you use a file it will ask you for a path okay and where this path is directing will direct us to where the uh, texture is okay in this case earlier I've searched for some royalty free texture okay so if you want to look for royalty texture come here and see it and uh, you want to just uh, apply that texture over here so, and make sure that the uh, you, you type in royalty free texture because uh, you don't want to use uh, someone's texture that uh, they, they don't want to share you know so you want it to be royalty free so that you are free to use the texture so just make sure it's royalty free and then you won't get into any commercial or any trouble and then you'll be free to download this so I press view image and I downloaded the images earlier and I put it under my project soft source images okay so this is it right here so I'm gonna copy this path ctrl c and then uh, I am going to put it into my file here go into my file I'll paste Okay, actually it's gonna just look for the source images if you set the project correctly, which is what you should do, and you just double click the texture and bam, there you go. Works pretty well. And of course uh, there's still gonna be a line here and it's totally fine. The this all these lines are called seams and uh you need to understand that every 3D model has some sort of seams to it when you apply a texture, which is why uh we always find different ways to hide our seams like maybe behind the character's back or at the side of his face behind the, the hair or at the underneath uh, somewhere that you can hide oh, so so and uh, recently there's been different softwares like uh, substance painter and uh, mari that can help you hide all these seams even better in terms of texturing okay but traditionally if you just use a uh, photoshop or any other 2d software to paint you almost uh, always have this kind of seam problems and uh, it's to do with how you uh, do create a uv as well so earlier we we uh, 
did our UV like this, and uh, so that's what we have. Okay, and then so and then we also deprecate the model, so it has the exact same UV, but we just have a different texture to it. All right, so uh, that's about it. And uh, so with this method, you have two diff two ways of creating a V-ray eye texture. So just apply that to your model and keep your model as a grayscale, and it should be fine. All right, see you next time.